Okay, here is my day six seat. As you can see, there is a metal bracket. It bolts into some kind of physical substrate at the bottom of the seat. And then there's a cushion on top of the fabric covering. I broke it here, as you can see. I can now bend it there. So I'm going to take this apart. And what I'm hoping is that I can, well temporarily, I can just take a big piece of wood this size and reinforce this. But I'd also like to extend it back this way so my butt doesn't fall through this hole. Because here's the problem that I was having as far as comfort is that um, my butt tends to want to fall into this opening here. My butt comes through here and that's not the most comfortable thing. So if I could extend this backwards to here, maybe even fold it up into this one here to make this into a, a complete seat to make this complete with cushioning. But it'll be more comfortable in here. I can go from there. We'll see what happens. I'm going to take it apart now. Okay. As you see, that's where I broke. Looks like there's a, a thick plastic like plate, epoxy plate, resin of some sort. And I snapped it. So... There's some extra holes here that I don't think I'm using. Well, there's four bolts, and I'm not using four of these holes. So I'm going to maybe wooden plate as big as this whole thing, and then bolt it in with countersunk holes into these holes, and then just drill through these and to allow the original bolts to reattach to those holes. You know, cut a sandwich and give it some support. So I'll have to get myself a piece of plywood, a nice priest marine plywood. Okay, what I did here is I broke the seat here because the bracket only comes out to here so now this wood goes all the way out to the edge I didn't go quite all the way out to the edge because I want to make sure that the foam wraps around the edge so I don't you know um, hurt myself you know I don't want this wood jabbing into me I'll round off these edges a little bit um, there's I actually found those eight holes in the seat eight screw holes but only four in the metal bracket so what I'm going to do is I drilled all eight holes and I have countersunk screws um, quarter by 20 going into the seat so now the seats attached to the wood and then because they're countersunk nice and flush now the metal bracket will go through the wood into the seat through these four holes and this also lines up the holes so it'll be easy to put those in using the longer screws machine screws and um, I also extended it back um, I extended it back so that the seat now goes back further so my butt doesn't want to go through here I'll put some foam support in here make the seat basically I'm basically going to make the seat deeper so that my butt has more support in the back here I am also going to add I'm going to open this up and I'm going to add a piece of wood across the entire back here on the inside and screw through this into the um, seat to reinforce the back the back feels like it's made of the exact same resin and um, foam construction and I want to avoid breaking this preemptively so I'll take this off add a piece of wood with the four holes already drilled and sandwich it through the wood this I should be able to put the wood inside the cover I think it's loose enough that I can fit a piece of wood in there we'll see if not I'll put it on the outside and we'll go from there okay I got the reinforcement on, the four screws screwing into the seat, plus the four screws going through the seat into the bracket. So now my seat is reattached. I will add extra cushioning here so my butt doesn't come through this opening here. I also brought it as far back as I could without interfering with my backrest. I'm going to put a piece of metal or wood in here because you notice this moves. Okay. I want to stop that. So I'm going to put a um, wrap a, a support around this sandwiched in here bolted to this plywood so that I have a third point of source. So I got those four points up here plus another point back here holding it rigid and that'll keep the seat from twisting on me.